round 423,275 to the nearest thousand, to the nearest thousands. Let me rewrite it. 423,275. And so the thousands place is the 3 right here. And so if we were to round it up, if we were to round it up to the nearest thousand, we would go to 420. Let me write it so we just focus on the 3. We would go up to 424,000 if we wanted to round up. 424,000. And if we wanted to round down, if we rounded down, we would go to 400. And 23,000. We would get rid of the 275. 423,000. So this is our choice. Round up to 424,000 or round down to 423,000. And to figure it out, we just look at the digit one, uh, one, I guess, pla one place to the right of the 3. So we look at the 2 right there. If that digit is 5 or greater, you round up. So this is 5. So if this is greater than or equal to 5, 5 or greater, you round up. If it's less than 5, if it's less than 5, you round down. 2 is definitely less than 5, so we just we just round down. So it is 423,000. Now, just to visualize what this means the nearest 1000, if I were to do a number line, and you don't have to do this. We've gotten the answer, but just to have a little bit better visualization of it, if I were to increment by thousands, you might have 422,000, 423,000. You have 400, 424,000. And then maybe over here, you have 425,000. And you could keep going. Now, 423,275. 423,275 is going to be someplace right around here. And so when we round to the nearest 1,000, we have to pick between that and that. And we see it is much closer to 423,000 than to 424,000. So we round it right there. We just use the rules we just came up with, and we round it down to 423,000.